we'll be talking about uh, text manipulation. And uh, what do I mean by manipulation is we can format text in the terminal. We can actually code text formatting. Uh, by text formatting, I mean uh, making a text bold or uh, making a text, let's say, uh, blink. We can also uh, deem a text, reverse a text, things like that. That things which we can use in a normal text editor, we can also do that. Not everything, but there are limitations because this is just a terminal. It's limited power uh, from a graphics point of view, but we can do certain uh, a few few of those things. So let's actually demonstrate that. So as you see, I have few functions noted here. The one is attr on and attr off. So the first line here. So attr stands for attribute and attribute on and attribute off is basically we can turn on an attribute. Let's say I have a text, I wanna make it bold. So I will say, okay, turn on the bold attribute and then we print the text and then we turn off the bold attribute. Things like that. We can turn on an attribute, do whatever we like to do and then turn on, turn it off. And attribute set is basically, it actually overrides all the attributes we have in the window and and it's it actually persists until we turn that attribute off so that's how attribute set actually works attribute set is more like a global function it it sets the attribute globally in a window and what is a window basically window is our standard screen for now uh, we are also able to create more windows manually but we'll come to that later but uh, for now let's think attribute set we can actually set certain attributes for a whole window and attribute on and attribute off is more like uh, for a certain portion of the display we want to put some attributes we can apply that so let's see that in action actually um, so uh, we have our ncurses uh, header file my main function let me initiate the ncurses session here and that's it, we are, there goes our incursor session and now I'll write my program here. All right, so let's say I wanna print something in the terminal. So I'll say, how is everyone doing? And a new one. And I wanna put some attribute on it. Now, um, okay, we need to refresh that because we need to get those text from uh, current screen to our standard screen in order in order for us to see it. And then the uh, get ch function, the blocking statement so that we can actually see the screen, the output. So this is a pretty normal uh, code here. We are just printing a text saying, how is everyone doing in the terminal? Nothing, nothing special here. Now I wanna add some attributes on this text. So let's say I wanna bold this text. I wanna make it bold. So I wanna turn on the attribute. ATTR on and the value I have a underscore bold that's the symbolic constant that incurses header has so I am turning on that bold attribute and that attribute will be applied for any text I add after that so let me run this one right now uh, where am I All right, so my file name, all right, 03, 01, and I need to add my incursus library. Okay, no problem in the compilation. Let's run it. Okay, so yeah, it is bold, but hmm, it's not very apparent that it's pretty bold. Actually, let me try to do something. Let me, um, instead of making it bold, Let's also make it, actually, let's make it blink. <laughs> In that case, it will be easily noticeable. Run it. Clear that out. Let's see, I have an extra. You see, it is bo it's blinking. The text is blinking. So the attributes are working in the terminal. So that's pretty nice. That's neat. And we can also, um, combine multiple attributes. So let's say attribute blink and attribute 
bold so i have a or sign in the middle but in this case it is actually a combination of both these attributes so both blinking and bold will be applied to this text here or let's say anything i add after this attribute on function so let me add some other text as well i have three lines here and uh, i have just this attribute set so let's see recompile execute you see all of them are blinking and they are bold all right that's pretty annoying let me actually turn it off after the second uh, text being printed so let me say attribute off and in that case i need to um, mention exactly which attributes i want to turn off let's say i want to turn off both these attributes let's try to run it now so what will happen now the first two lines will be bold and blinking the third line that will be uh, a normal line so let me recompile execute it and that's exactly what's happening you see you can also see the difference of the normal text and the blinking and a and bold text okay so that's pretty much working and uh, let's say let's say we have we have a blinking text not bold text actually a blinking text not bold text and i wanna set it using attribute set okay um actually let me uh, yeah attribute set okay so um and then if i so and then if i turn on another attribute so what i'm doing here is i have i have initiated the blinking attribute by using attribute set which is as i mentioned which actually overrides all the attributes the window had previously and right now i don't have any other attribute set so the first two lines will be blinking and the third line that will be blinking and that will be blinking and bold both will be bo both these attributes will be added let's see if that works okay something is wrong here uh, did i oh spelling mistake okay all right so the first two are blinking and attribute on that is also working okay yeah so as you can see they are all working and the way we can turn off attribute set is also by this attribute off function so if i turn off attribute off but let's say i have both attribute blink and attribute bold but i want to turn off only blink but i want to keep the bold so in this case the first two lines will be blinking and they will, they will be bold the third line blinking will be uh, turned off so the, the third line will remain bold only let's see if that works that is working okay so that's how attribute on and attribute off actually uh, makes sense so this is um, um, this is just we are applying these attributes on um, an entire string right so let's say we have we have um, collection of uh, collection of strings and we want to um, put some attributes on a certain string not all of not the whole thing let's say I have this entire string but I only want to put some attributes on a certain part of the string how can we do that that's pretty much a c problem let me let me actually demonstrate here all right so let me initiate a two-dimensional array in this case so let's say character sentence and for the better visibility i'll write it like this and 
I say how is everybody doing and for the sake of proper iteration I'll have a null character at the end so that I can iterate as long as there is a valid uh, string all right so okay now what I want to do is I want to iterate through this uh, two-dimensional character array so I'll say while sentence okay I need a I need an index here integer i which let's say from zero and I'll say while i sentence i which will point to one entire string so sentence zero is how sentence one is is sentence two is everybody things like that so while sentence i and that means while sentence i is not equal now as long as we have that let's say i'll just print w because we are in the in cursor session we are inside the in cursor session that's why i'll use the print w function not print f i'll say percent s and a space and i will print sentence i and i need to initiate the index uh, sorry increment the index so that we're not in a endless loop here all right and after we do that let me add the refresh function here so that I can actually see that in the terminal. Let's see if that works. So all I'm doing is I have a two-dimensional character array and I am just going through each and every single uh, string, each and every element of this array and trying to print that out and trying to see if that works or not. Let's see. That's working. Okay, and let me clear my terminal to see all right now what I want to do is I want to um, underline this everybody text so what I can do is this is uh, 0 1 this is 2 the second not the second it's actually the third string in the sentence so I'll say if I is equal to I will say attribute on let's say a underline and I need to turn that off because I don't want to keep doing that right so in that case I want to I'd like to turn that off so I say I is equal to 2 I'll turn that attribute off a underline so what I'm doing is I'm first checking that if it's index 2 which is everybody are we in this are we in the phase of the iteration that we are going to print out everybody if so then we are turning on the underlying attribute and after we print it we are turning off the underlying attribute and then we increment the index and we go to the next string saving that compiling there you go so that's how our attribute functions are working we can um, put multiple attributes and the uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description where we have all the in cursors available attributes that we can apply on text all right thank you